Our research is considered a breakthrough because uh, so far the, the existing anti-HIV drugs uh, make the disease a chronic disease, but they do not eliminate uh, the, the latent virus that is already in the cells. Our approach is the first one that actually kills the infected cells and then new viruses will not be made. I'm working for the last, I know, 20 years, 25 years on different molecular mechanism of virus infection. During the last 12, 13 years, we started to work with HIV, human immunodeficiency virus. And we have looked at molecules that would block infection by inhibiting nuclear import of the virus genome into nuclei of infected cells. This work has started with Professor Chaim Gilon from the Department of Organic Chemistry with, with an expertise on peptides. That work continued for about five years and some of the work has been done by Asaf Friedler, who at that time was a PhD student of Chaim Gilon and has collaborated with us. My collaboration with Professor Leuter started uh, actually 15 years ago uh, when I did my PhD under the supervision of Chaim Gilon, Professor Chaim Gilon here at the Hebrew University, at the Institute of Chemistry, at the same building where we are sitting now actually. And uh, my PhD studies were in collaboration with uh, Professor Leuter. Uh, I was always fascinated by the connection between chemistry and biology. So it was natural to, to collaborate with a, a biological lab. And we studied the, HIV, the molecular mechanisms behind the HIV infection and actually tried to develop peptides that will inhibit HIV proteins, that will inhibit uh, uh, the import of uh, HIV proteins into the cell nucleus. And we had some success. We developed some peptides that uh, inhibited HIV replication. And uh, after that, uh, 10 years ago, I went for postdoc in uh, Cambridge in the UK and when I returned to establish my own group it was natural to collaborate again with Professor Reuter and we started a very uh, wide collaboration about uh, studying uh, the HIV proteins and the, uh, the molecular mechanisms be behind how they act and then that's how we got to, to study the, the integrals uh, specifically and then uh, we got uh, into this, uh, and this uh, finding that, uh, that we are talking about uh, now. At the level of the cell culture, we cured the disease completely. We not only got rid of the virus, but as I said, we got rid of the infected cells. And after actually four weeks of infection, we couldn't find when we continued to culture the cells, the healthy cells, which were not infected, they were not infected with virus because there is no virus and not, we couldn't find any infected cell by specific assay or biochemical and molecular biology assay we could show that we got rid from all the virus and the infected cells which have been previously infected by the virus. It is a cure for, at the, this stage, for cultured cells infected by the AIDS virus. Using this approach we hope that uh, it will be developed into a medicine that will be a cure for AIDS. Yes, but if this approach will work in patients, it will be a cure for AIDS and not uh, uh, only something that makes the disease chronic, like uh, the drugs of uh, today. What is my personal goal? Eventually to, to you know, to obtain an antiviral drug. I mean, that is our ambitions. Although we I have to emphasize, we are doing basic research. We would like to understand some of the mechanism by which the virus infects cells and indeed we have discovered a kind of a new regulation of virus infection which really brought us to the present finding. But sure, once we find such an approach, we would like to develop it into a working antiviral drug. Uh, well, my personal goal is uh, to, to do, you know, cutting edge research on the borderline between chemistry and biology uh, that is bridging chemistry and biology to do teaching in this direction as well. So I did all my studies at the Hebrew University. It was really like coming back home. And uh, people give me here so much support and, uh, in everything, in research, in, in grant writing, in, in everything. And I don't think that anywhere else I could do such, uh, such things.